Hello guys, welcome to my channel. This is the sixth tutorial in this course and in this tutorial we are going to talk about data types, right? And I have another presentation here and uh, this one's got just three slides so I hope I don't bore you much uh, in this tutorial. So anyway, what's up with data types? You know, you must have heard people say this a lot, you know, that data types, well, you need to understand data types pretty well if you're, you know, learning programming and stuff, but data types are actually pretty simple, right? And uh, a data type is a property that specifies the type of data that you can put in your table. So as far as SQL is concerned, what we mean by data types is that, you know, in the last uh, tutorial, we had a look at the uh, table in which we had, you know, information about tennis players. So, you know, if uh, rank uh, is a field, and if, you know, in that field, you're only going to put tennis rankings, so all the rankings are going to be numbers, right? So all those numbers, have uh, some data type and you know they can be integers or they can be you know floating values like if they have decimal values so what what we mean by data type is that you know each value in the table must you know be known to sql i mean sql should be able to connect you know that value to some data type right so you can either have uh, characters or you can have integers or if you're storing images in your tables you know that's possible as well so then you need to specify the data type for the image uh, field in the field that's going to contain images right and uh, well this will this will be clear in just a bit so each field has a data type and all values for a field must have the same data type so let's have a look at this table here and um, it's it's uh, different from the table that we saw in the last tutorial this one has got one two three four four fields the first one is serial number so i have serial numbers one two three four five for the five rows that i have in the table and then i have another field called name in which i have names for superheroes and hulk really well doesn't really qualify as a superhero but i like it very much so that's why i've included it in here and uh, then in the next uh, column you have age of the superheroes and then you have email addresses of superheroes and these are actually fake ids so you know if you're thinking about emailing superman then well this is not the correct email address so you know please don't use it so anyway that's a bad joke so um well to understand data types uh just concentrate on any one field right so let's concentrate on the name field and um, you know the data type of the first value in the column that's associated with the name field is spider-man right and so the data type is characters right because all these are character values and in the next column you again have batman which is a string of characters then you have iron man in the next which is a string of characters and you have superman you have hulk so all these are character values these are string values that are made of characters right and then serial number let's come to this so serial number one is an integer it's a number two is also an integer it's a number three is a number four is a number and five is a number so all these five values have the same data type so the data type of this value here or you know in a way the data type of this field right so if you're going to have more rows then you know you're going to have rows like six seven eight nine ten so the value for each row for this particular field is going to be an integer number so the data type of this field is integer it's int right and the data type of the name field is uh, you know character or variable character and we're going to see we're going to talk about data types uh, in more detail in the next tutorial but uh, just just you know just try to understand this that you know all values that are associated with a particular field have the same data type that's that's you know what you need to know and then age again is a number and if suppose tomorrow you want to modify this table and instead of mentioning age in the table you want to mention the date of birth of a superhero right so in that case well, Spider-Man is 30 years old, so subtract 30 from 2013, you get what, uh, 1983, right? So if you want to put uh, 1st January 1983 as a value in uh, this table, right? So you can do that by having, a, uh, you know, another column and you can call it DOB, right, date of birth, or you can change this and you can make this DOB. And in that case, the data type of the field would change from number to date right so date is again a data type you have date you have date time and you have time so you can store time in your data uh, in your tables you can store uh, you know dates in your tables and you can store timestamps and there's so much you can store and you know there are so many data types we're going to check out some of the most important ones in the next tutorial right and then you have the email field in which you've got email addresses 
So um, do we have any more slides? No, there are no more slides in this presentation. So that's it. Thank you so much for watching this tutorial. I'll see you in the next one in which we'll discuss uh, data types in more detail. And um, please stick with me and uh, I assure you that we're going to have fun. And subscribe to my channel in case you haven't already. And I'll see you soon.